were talking about a little bit earlier, we keep learning new details about the Ukraine story. And the more we learn, the worse things look for Trump's personal lawyer and taxidermy owl that the dog got after, <laughs> Rudolph Giuliani. Ever since the original whistleblower report, Rudy has been on TV doing damage control minus the control. We got an anonymous whistleblower who says that Donald Trump did something wrong. Donald Trump, like Hunter Biden says, I didn't do anything wrong. Forget the whistleblower. But we have the transcript of the call and the president's remarks on the lawn. Wait, wait, before you interrupt me, Howard. Classic legal defense. <laughs> Sir, your client stands accused of multiple accounts of arson. How does he plead? Your Honor, the defendant pleads, shh, shh. But Rudy is good reason to shut people up because last week, our old buddy Ambassador Gordon Sondland here testified that Trump personally directed Giuliani to pressure Ukraine. And there's more from Energy Secretary Rick Perry, seen here pointing to the empty place. <laughs> Perry claims, Perry claims that Giuliani was going around pushing weird conspiracy theories. For instance, Rudy blamed Ukraine for the dossier about Trump's alleged ties to Russia and asserted that Ukraine had Hillary Clinton's email server and dreamed up evidence that helped send former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort to jail. Of course, all of Rudy's conspiracy theories have been debunked, and I have a feeling that Giuliani may soon be Manafort's debunkmate. <laughs> because he himself... Because he himself is now the subject of a federal counterintelligence investigation after two of his Ukraine-linked business associates were arrested on campaign finance charges. Now, that sounds bad. We should not jump to any conclusions about their guilt. These two men... <laughs> Don't hurt me! Take my wallet! Take it! Take my money! Take it! <laughs> of course... There's no proof connecting these guys to Giuliani, unless you count the photos of them smoking cigars together, <laughs> this video of them drinking together in the Trump Hotel, and the fact that Giuliani was paid $500,000 by their company, which is called, and this is real, Fraud Guarantee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fraud Guarantee. He even did a little work for their retail outfit, Crime March. <laughs> So, did Rudolph Giuliani and his fraud buddies lead the president into impeachment by pushing debunked conspiracy theories? Here to tell us is the man himself, Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Mr. Mayor... Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us. <laughs> I, I haven't asked you anything yet. I, I know. And your facts are all wrong, so... Shush it, zip it, and ask me a question. Okay, Mr. Mayor, how do you respond to critics who say that you are traveling the world pushing debunked conspiracies as part of a scheme to help the president's re-election? Hey, that's ridiculous, Stephen. I was simply bringing the American people the truth about the Bidens. And, and that's not all. I now have reason to believe that the 2016 election was not hacked by the Russians. It was hacked by Hunter Biden. Who was actually a, a men in black style alien being operated by a tiny Hillary Clinton in his neck? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a bald assertion. Oh, no. That is, that is. Sir, proof? that's a bald assertion. Do you have any proof of that? Oh, uh, not yet. Or ever. Oh. <laughs> I'm not falling into that proof trap. Well,. What exactly were you doing with Ambassador Sondland and Rick Perry? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, when you're solving big, spooky mysteries, you need a team. It was Gordon Sondland, Rick Perry, Velma, and me, Rudy, 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 Rudy! <laughs> now, Stephen, if you'll excuse me, it's time for a Rudy snack. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, are you drinking? Shh, shh. I can't hear myself drink. Well, Mr. Giuliani, your investigations have caused a lot of trouble for the White House. Former National Security Advisor John Bolton reportedly called you a hand grenade who would blow everybody up. What do you say to that? Yeah, Stephen, that's crazy. Grenades are used by highly trained soldiers. 
I'm more like a can of hairspray someone turns into a flamethrower during a prison riot. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, and that's all what, also what happened to my teeth. I got it. Well, your fraud guarantee associates were arrested with one-way tickets to Vienna just hours after you met with them. And you were also scheduled to fly to Vienna. What were you planning to do there? Yeah, Stephen, shh! <laughs> I was going to Vienna because I love classical music. And I have reason to believe that Hunter Biden has stolen Mozart's bones. <laughs> and, and he wasn't alone. Everyone was in on it. The deep state, Podesta, George Soros. Oh, also, mm, uh, hold on, let me consult my research department. <laughs> The lizard people, Bigfoot, the chupacabra. I, I know him. We have the same dentist. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, it's lovely orthodonture. Mr. Mayor, this kind of behavior is exactly why you yourself are under a counterintelligence investigation. It won't work, Stephen, because I am counter, counter investigating them. I've teamed with a new Bulgarian company certified ripoff. Mm. <laughs> They're going to fund my space. Uh, expedition to get to the bottom of Hunter Biden's business deal with the Nazis into the, in the center of the moon. Mm. <laughs> the mayor of outer space. <laughs> the deep state. <laughs> they got my wine. Mayor Rudy Giuliani, everybody. Yeah.